Everyone, and welcome back to another video. So this is just a really I'm quick I'm in the background. Sorry. <laughs> this is just a really quick intro to say. This is just a little bit of an extra bit into the video. It was meant to just be a McBrang with Atticus and then suddenly it's now gonna be a bit of a London vlog as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. We've got a very special announcement in this vlog. But yeah. Roll the clips. So, starting this weekly vlog off on a Monday, which is a shock because normally I'm horrendous at starting vlogs on a Monday and ending them on a Sunday. But I'm up super early. Mum and Atticus are actually just downstairs loading up the car because they are leaving this morning. If you haven't already seen, I did upload a weekly, well, a weekend vlog with them, which I will leave linked down below. It was so much fun. However, I have now got the busiest yet most exciting week ever. And I'm starting this week off by going to the hairdressers and I'm actually changing my hair color. I've been blonde now for maybe like two months again and don't get me wrong I've absolutely loved it however it is killing my hair and I don't want to bleach my hair anymore I want to get my hair back to being really long really thick and just how I remember my natural hair being so I'm going back to the hairdressers today and I'm going to dye my hair slightly darker I don't know how much darker yet we'll see what happens but I'm really excited and then I've got a lunch meeting after that then I'm in London and then in Ibiza for the rest of this week so we've got a really exciting vlog coming up but first of all I need to say goodbye to my Monaticus. They are all packing up, ready to go. Have you just taken the first lot down? Yeah. the first lot, it's the last lot. When we've done this, we're going to come and say goodbye to you. Okay, I don't want you to go. And we're going to go to a cafe you. here. I know, I'm going to miss you too. Time, and then we're going to go to a cafe here. Are you going to go downstairs? I know, I've got to get hairdressers. Oh, I'm going to miss you. Okay, bye. Bye. See you in two weeks. Two weeks. Bye, vlog. Guys, um, brunette me is back. I needed to dye my hair so bad. I loved being blonde. Don't get me wrong, blonde will always be like my favorite color, but it was killing my hair. Like my hair was so long and so healthy before I dyed it blonde and then i dyed it blonde and bleached it again and it was snapping it was really dry and i was like it's just not worth it because before you know it like i'm gonna have like hair up here my hair's gonna be dead which is fine like I, I like short hair but i just really 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 want like long healthy hair so i was like you know what i'm gonna go back brunette and i love it it's not like a full brunette it's like a blonde we called it like a what do we call it me and meg it was like a, bro a bronze sort of thing like a brownie blonde but it's so nice i'm actually obsessed with it i feel like it just looks so much more natural so much more me and it was the exact like change that i needed um i also got it a little bit shorter as well obviously when it's straight it'll be longer but i wanted to go a little bit shorter so now all my hair is super healthy it feels so soft and i just think it's gonna look more natural and more healthy on me i feel like it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to again because obviously this morning i was literally like bleach blonde i need to finish the tiktok off actually so i can see what it like looks like the actual transition but yeah i'm so happy. Oh my God. the tiktok just came through my car but i am so happy i'm now gonna drive back i'm gonna top my makeup up and i have got a meeting in an hour and a half in the northern quarter which is really exciting i can't say what it's about yet but you guys are going to find it very very soon so yeah heading there i'm going to go do my makeup go to the meeting where we're getting food actually so i don't need to get food and then yeah i'm excited i'm back Bruna anna is back good morning everyone i am going to try and speak as loud as possible because i'm currently on the platform at the train station but it is super early it is 6 18 in the morning i don't quite know how i'm functioning because i went i had a meeting yesterday which i didn't film any of and then i went out last night i got in at like 11 ish then packed my case and now i'm here like i don't really understand how i've done it i think i've slept for about three hours so i'm planning on sleeping the entire train journey but i am off to london i've got three very exciting days in london and then i'm actually off to ibiza on a friday for friday saturday and sunday with spotify so yeah very exciting vlog coming up i am going to announce what me and Saf are doing in this vlog but i want to wait for Saf to be with me so i can actually tell you um but yeah you're gonna find that out in this vlog i have just been to sainsbury's and i've got the most lunch meal deal for 6 a.m ever i was looking at all the lunch uh, the breakfast stuff sorry and i was like i just don't fancy any of this like at all so i caught myself kind of embarrassed to show you that i'm gonna be having this for breakfast but i got you can see salad because i'm obsessed with them right now i got a trio of olives and obviously I got a bottle of coke because I am not functioning well right now. I'm just waiting for my train. There's a train behind me that gets to London before, but there's no point because I'm going to be early anyway. So I'm just waiting for my train. Then I'm going to get to London and then we've got a very, very, very busy day today of doing whatever we're doing. Hey everyone, I am Anastasia King's Mom. And I'm Saffron Barker and welcome to Sex, Lies and DM Slides. If you asked me yesterday morning, I would have been like, 
oh, my relationship status, I'm so happy, in such a good place, seeing someone, like, it's going so well. You asked me this morning, I'm single as fuck. Let's go. I'm Saffron Barker. And I'm Anastasia Kingsnorth. We are best friends who have been sharing our lives online for like the best part of maybe about five years. But how do we navigate dating offline? Each week, we invite a guest onto the show to delve into their DMs and get the gossip on their sex and dating experiences. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I will stand by want to cheat or with a cheat. A hundred percent. We want to know, can a DM slide ever turn into a meaningful relationship or is it all just smoke and mirrors? And how can we spot a red flag from someone's socials? Wait, so have people been catfishing us? Between the situationships, swiping on apps and countless dates, there's always someone sliding into your DMs. So are you messaging guys more on Hinge then than like Instagram? More on Hinge than Instagram, really? definitely. So what's your DM saying? Are they good right on now? On Insta or Hinge? On Instagram. You can read my Instagram DM. Babe, I'd love to read your Instagram DM. There's no denying it. Dating in your 20s can be difficult. And we want to talk about it all. The cringy, the cute and the awkward. So watch and listen to Sex, Lies and DM Slides every Tuesday exclusively on Spotify. So each week we invite the guests onto the show to delve into their DMs, to spill the tea, to discuss sex, dating experiences and all of the topics in between, the good, the bad and the ugly. And I can assure you, we did all of that in today's episode. <laughs> Believe me, no DM is off limits and no topic is off limits. And this week we sat down with Flossie and we discussed <laughs> exes, breakups, the yeah. fact that me and Flossie dated the same boy, <laughs> um, recycled goods. Recycled goods, absolutely. That was a common phrase used throughout this whole podcast episode. So. <laughs> Uh, this is a good episode, I really like this. I've learned a lot. Yeah, so have I. Honestly, like, I feel like I've been through a therapy session as well, so you guys are really in for a treat. And of course, we invite you guys to slide into our DMs with stories of your own, so send us the craziest DM you've ever received or a funny story about your own sex or dating life that you would want to share. Let's do it. I'm excited for this episode. Let's, let's jump straight into it. Guys, this is the difference between mine and Saf's case, right? I don't really know how I've managed to do this because I did pack drunk last night, but I've somehow got seven outfits in there plus outfits for Ibiza. How many Just outfits can't. have you got? You can't. How many have you got in here? I've got my seven outfits. Oh. Uh, yeah, but you've got sh lots of shoe options. What's in the duffel? Boots. Oh my <laughs> God. What if we kissed in the podcast recording studios? Guys, just to show you our podcast studio, this is what it looks like. I don't actually, I think they're going to add in a sofa for the next two guests because it is a duo, so it's going to be four of us. But yeah, this is what the studio looks like. It's all going to be on video as well, so you can watch it as well as listen on Spotify. But how good does it look? It still feels so surreal that this is like our studio. We have just checked into our room, so a little room tour. It's going to be very easy to do a room tour. It literally is just this bit, but this is our bed. And then I love this back. Is it called panelling? I don't know. It's really, really nice. I really like that. I love this hotel. I've stayed here before. Got a radio and then there's a little table and chairs over there as well. And then just up here, I've got a TV so I can sit in bed and watch TV later. The bathroom is so cute too. I love the tiles in here. I feel like my mum would love this. And then this is the shower over here. Oh my God, that shower's so nice. <gasps> Oh my god, can't wait to get a shower later. I am now all checked in. We are staying in London until... Well, I'm staying in London until Friday. I think Saf is staying until Thursday. But they actually got a separate room that we were checking in. We were like, oh yeah, we're in the same room. And they were like, no, we've got you guys separate rooms, which is so weird. Because I've never not stayed in the same room with Saf. So I've literally already said, like, I've come up here, put my stuff in the room. Um, and then I actually am probably going to end up staying in Saf's room, let's be real. But I have just gotten changed because we are actually recording some back-to-back -back episodes over the next three days. I am so excited for the next two guests that we have coming on today it is going to be hilarious and i know you guys are going to love the episode so yeah really excited for that the flossy episode went amazing so i can't wait for you guys to hear that but like i'm just on like cloud nine at like, this week there's just so much stuff going on and it's so full on but it's so exciting and i love doing it with my brand new hair as well when i walked in everyone was like oh my god like a whole new person i was like yeah i love it like a whole new me for the podcast but yeah gonna get another outfit because i've got to take two outfits with me this one and then we're gonna get changed at the studios for another episode at four o'clock i have changed 
changed i love this outfit so much it's just a little gray top and then gray trousers from plt i will leave links down below if you guys want them um and then i'm going to take another outfit with me because we've got another recording at four o'clock and then i think we're going to go out for dinner tonight oh who is that oh that is josh about going for dinner but yeah i am very excited so i will show you guys more behind the scenes of us filming just before i go i thought i'd show you the full outfit so you can get the gist of it i know the jacket doesn't really go with the gray i don't know but it, it's the only jacket i have with me so i'm gonna have to wear it but this is all from plt like i said links will be down below but i love it these trousers are so nice everyone's getting like the turnover trousers at the moment and i found a dupe on plt so yeah they will leave a link down below we are out for food and we're fingers crossed gonna get a table in here yes, sir. i don't know how busy it is but we really want food here so fingers crossed vlog vlogception oh my god i can't believe i'm with so many youtubers right now ew look at this this is life of content creator that's what i was gonna say everyone just whips their cameras out as soon as we get anywhere guys they had a table this is the menu i actually came here for my 21st birthday with my mom i love it so much but the menu is there they have it oh my god i need to This always happens. Well, this happened last time me and Saf came here. We got so drunk in the I'm bar. Drunk now, I'm tipsy, I'm not drunk. We had a bottle of wine. And I never finish this I always just leave a little Ella. bit. I just think, oh, I'll leave a little bit. And then every time before we get up, I'm in like, mm, Mrs. No, literally everyone was so, like, because you never finished your drink. So I just downed it. Where are they? So I can see them in the. Hey, go oh, yeah. okay. How are you there? Oh, they got in the lift. Oh my God, that's so weird. I thought they walked downstairs behind us. Anyway, Saf's now voice noting a boy. Can we see on the podcast? You listen to the podcast. If you want a behind the scenes. Oh, she's vlogging, never mind. I thought it was a voice note. You can listen to it on the podcast. Live footage of Saf voice noting the boy. Please tell me she's going to go. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> good morning everyone i have just ordered some breakfast to the room before we start day two i got scrambled egg on toast and i got a coke because i'm so tired this morning and then byron <laughs> looks like a rat pretty boy in bed <laughs> He got crumpets that look like stupidly, they look awful. They look like if you throw them at the wall, they look like they're gonna like hit the wall because they're that hard. Go through the wall to make <laughs> yeah. I think because crumpets, you need to like butter it and stuff whilst they're like warm so it all like soaks in. And they've obviously not done that. Also, my voice is gonna sound very nasally on this podcast because Anastasia sleeps with the aircon on. I didn't sleep with the aircon on. You could have turned it off, it's on you your side. So, everyone, it is actually day two of us filming our secret project, and then I realized. That I filmed a load of stuff yesterday without actually saying what, what we were doing. So basically, long story short, we have a podcast. I don't know who was going to say it then. <laughs> it's we do a, have a podcast. It's a Spotify original. It is called Sex Lies and DM Slides. And I'm just so beyond excited that we are getting to do this. I feel like we've wanted a secret product together. Yeah, for the for longest time. ages. And we've never really known what to do or what it would be. And then this came along and it just made sense. It's just, I don't know. I can't wait for you guys to hear the episode and just see like. They're so funny. It's so funny we've we done three yesterday we're doing two today More and it's tomorrow. nice as well because we actually get to spend time together yeah like because nice. we have an excuse to see each other because we see each other every week now yeah well and it's going away for a while but so we're like bulk filming yeah so but then after that hopefully two years yeah fingers crossed two years you guys are going to get this podcast mm -hmm. for but i'm so excited for you to hear like the guests we've had on already the episode we just cry laughing the whole day yesterday so yeah. i'm so excited for you guys to see but yeah Yay. we have a podcast <laughs> now i can actually speak about it we've announced it on instagram so make sure you go and follow my instagram as well and sass you can see loads of behind the scenes because i feel like that's where we're going to post a lot of the behind the scenes mm -hmm. but yeah so we get changed we're going to go back and film another episode another, another day another episode that's what, I was, what was it who was that youtuber that used to always say that another oh day that it was no <laughs> oh, that's what you say another day that's no it was roman atwood he used to be like another day another vlog Did and it? i watch his daily vlogs religiously does for years. Yes. Yeah, I think he still does. <laughs> yeah, it still does. Not like every day though, I don't think. So. Me and Byron went to this event the other night and we had like pat photos when we were really excited because it was our first like pat photos together. <laughs> and we were like, oh, like we're slain in these outfits. And I still think we slayed in the outfits. Like I really do. The outfits oh. are so nice. Right, we're going to have to pop the pictures up as we... They're quite blurry though because oh. you have to buy them. This is the first one. Why do I look like that? 
My one I, head looks so long. I felt sick looking at myself back in that photo because I don't think I've ever looked like that. You look like you've got scoliosis. So, the other day I was having a massage and a woman said to me, you've got minor scoliosis. She said, you need to go see a chiropractor. So I have been diagnosed with scoliosis. Not as next to chunks, what a slow that is. I know, it's not to say. It's the angle of the photographer. My head looks so long. I like my photos from like a lower angle or like yeah. a dead straight on angle. And oh, it's like really pointed. Nice. Oh, babe, no. I think my figure looks nice, but there's just something about my head looks long. What event was it? Over it was the Chunks is launch, but like I'm looking all just... types of it doesn't help because I look really I think pale. they're actually nice. Well, Not good. Anyway, we're going to record a podcast now. I'm recording with Byron, so stuff that's so gonna be fun. Right, we're walking to the studios, the wind. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm gonna have to sleep ahead. We're going to get a uh breath. Well, is there a coffee, coffee in there? I'm wind sweat like Beyonce. Honestly, my hair right now. I don't know, I feel all a bit delirious. A bit delirious. Anyway, we're going to get a coffee. I like coffee now, what's going on? Oh wow, that little tuna um, salad. By the chance, do you want a coffee? Ice latte, yes. Really? You, do you, yeah, you want a coffee? I don't know how I guess that. Well, I was going to get a coffee, but turns out they don't actually do ice lattes. Why are you two filming all the time? Liar, you love it really. He loves the clout. Just got back in the studio. Uh, yes, of course you can. And they got me Itsu for lunch. I got my favourite. Uh, Avo baby rolls, teriyaki sauce and some edamame. We've come for a little Nando's before this evening's event and they have these really cool little huts here. I've never seen this in a Nando's before. This is so cool. We are now off to a very exciting event with Armani Exchange. They've actually dressed us all for this evening. However, I had a really cool outfit that I really want to wear. So I've just chosen accessories. Did you get a full on outfit? I can't remember what you I chose. I've got a top half, but then I'm wearing my own trousers and shoes and I also got the same bag of shoes. Oh yeah, we're twinning with the bags tonight. So I will show you guys what we got but yeah i'm very excited i look like a sweaty mess i honestly like i hate admitting this but i stink i need to go and get in the shower sitting in that studio if you film i thought you filmed me from behind sit oh you are oh, <laughs> for fuck's sake sitting in that studio because we have this massive like dome light that's like on top of the set it makes you sweat and we've been in there all day from like when did we start recording about half nine this morning and um, we just got back and it's 10 to 5 so yeah i'm gonna get in the shower get re-ready i've got about half an hour then we're gonna head down to saf's room i think i'm gonna do a bit of like a sleek bun spiky bun sleek moment spiky sleek spiky because it'll match the bag byron's got some cool sunglasses that i can wear so yeah i'll show you the look i don't know to wear this or my other outfit i don't know i'll show you in the next clip right little unboxing of my bag quickly before i get in the shower and get ready this is so fun i've never actually owned anything from armani exchange before so i'm very excited and me and byron got matching ah, she is so cute i love her it's not what she reminds me of but i just really like it i've always wanted because all my bags are very like plain i can't explain it but they're all just either like black or brown i don't have any like fun bags so i feel like this is a very fun moment to either wear i don't know whether this outfit or the other one but yeah thank you so much i'm very excited for tonight they're also sending like a branded cab to come and get us which is very exciting don't even know where the event is i don't even really know much about tonight but that makes it more fun so yeah i'm gonna get ready now what are you doing are you rubbing your nipples in the background i now look a tiny little bit more presentable the only difference is i have done these two little plaits at the front of my hair which byron suggested that i do and it's very cute and then i've done this like spiky bun sort of moment and then i've got the bag and i have stolen some of byron's sunglasses which are silver so they match the bag. This is the look for tonight. I'm very excited. Byron ended up DIYing his blazer. Like he's cut the sleeves off and it looks very fun. Um, so we're now gonna go down to Sass room. We're gonna get the cab and we are gonna head to the event. I'm joined with my little brother Atticus and we are going to be doing a Wendy's mukbang. It's not really a mukbang though, McDonald's is the mukbang. No, you can do anything as a mukbang. Can we do a Wendbang? We'll call it a wend bang just for this video. But this is actually Atticus's first time trying Wendy's and he's really excited about it. I'll tell you, it's like Nanny's company. My nanny's called Wendy's. And he was like, does Nanny own it? I was like, no, I wish she did. That's just so cool. We've got lots of food in here. Why have you got so much food? Do you want to know how many nuggets you've got in here? How many? 20. So I hope you're hungry. What's in there? All sorts. Okay. Ooh, chips. We've got chippies. 
There you go. There. Huge. Quite nice. That's because you're ready. Oh. Why is this so I've many? I've got only five chips in my I've got not as many chips as you. We have all my chips gone. They're all in the bag. Hang on. So I have a burger. Well, nice. nice. Yeah. Are they? I'm saying that like I haven't had them before, but mm. by the way, these nuggets are some of the best nuggets I've ever had in my life. Actually, I'd go as far as to say they are the best nuggets I've ever had in my life. Is this medium or small? Those fries? Yeah. They're large. What? They're large because I knew you'd eat them all. You said you said you'd get me a medium. Yeah, but I got your large. Try a nugget. Let me know what you think. I do like them. They're good, aren't they? I honestly think these are the best chicken nuggets I've ever tried. Third best nuggets for me. Okay, what's the first best nugget? Burger King. Burger King. I don't see your obsession with Burger King. I don't get it. I like it, but I don't think it's amazing. I love it. Mm. I think it's so good. Then McDonald's and these. What, you prefer McDonald's nuggets over these? They're lovely. I hate KFC nuggets. What the quantity? I don't think it's even chicken. Honestly, I don't think it's even chicken. Which is what burger I got. I need to trick myself there. Right, I got a cheeseburger, but with like extra cheese. So there's like three different types of cheese on this burger. Mmm. I'm about. Why? I'll smell it. I might. I might have a bit of the nice. bun. I love Wendy's. The bun? Bun is good. Oh, you're eating the bun. Oh, that's good bun. Mmm. Queen. Okay, so when do you Kim, by the way. Sorry, what are we rating it out of 10? I've got to like out of 10. What do I rate it out of 10? Oh, like 10. I love Wendy's. Do you know what? 10. Really? Yeah, can you open this, please? Yeah. Always have to look at the water. Why? Right. You got water, I should. I oh, know, fancied water. I'm going to get some spicy mayo out of the Stupid bag. I got this sauce from Cherries and it's so good. It's spicy mayo. I know, no, that's enough, isn't it? I might have made a farting noise, but it's really good. It's not so, like cutting with the ketchup on if you will regret it. Mm, sorry, for that cheeky little threat. Do you want to try some spicy mayo? Yeah, this I like What? You might like it? I have got some questions. I knew it. You know, we posted a TikTok, not yesterday, the day before, and everyone was saying how grown up you are now. Mm. The TikTok has got, hang on, 1.8 million views. That's going to get 2 million by tomorrow night. It probably will have 2 million by tomorrow night. All the comments are saying how grown up you are. Mummy down on TikTok. You don't watch TikTok, do you? No. I think that's a good thing. I don't think you need to watch TikTok yet. I only want to watch your ones. I only want to watch the ones with me and you in. I can just show you them on my phone. Mummy mm. has TikTok. I'm pervading. I'm trying to get her to download it again. And what does she say? A different day. So she keeps putting it off. I'm about to watch it though. What, down on TikTok? I don't think we should watch it though. I don't want to watch all of them. Okay, I'll allow that. But what film did we watch the other night? Pocus Guys, it's so good. Hocus Pocus 2 is out on Disney Plus. It is the best film ever. We've just ever. been watching it now. We just had it on again. I feel like Hocus Pocus has such a special place in my heart. I don't know why, but I used to love watching it as a child. And then when I found out they were doing number two, I honestly couldn't believe it. The fact that it's got all three original witches in, I just love it. It was so good. And all like the kind of, what do you call it? Like modern elements they chucked in. I feel like it just worked really well what did you think the main witch winnie mm, 78 <gasps> Mm. We were Googling their ages after and Winnie, I can't actually remember her name in real life, but 78 years old and she did a performance like that. It was incredible. Such a good film. Honestly, cannot recommend enough. Like I said, we've literally got it on again now because we loved it that much. I feel like that's going to become my comfort film. Mm. Pocus Pocus. Do you think you'll watch yeah. it again? Yeah. They're doing an Avatar. That's already out. When did that come out? Avatar mm. 2. Come out September 23rd, but not When did number I'm... one come out? Oh, years ago, but I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen many people talking about it. No, I think it's my favorite. Don't worry, darling, with Harry Styles. I haven't seen it yet, though. Avatar 3 in 2024? That's like two years away, though. No, no, it's from 3. When's that coming out? 5. In 5 years? 2025. Oh, 2025. Have they already released that? No, no, it's not out yet. But anyway, we've been in, well, Atticus and Mum have come up to Manchester to visit me, which is nice because you guys haven't been here for over a year. A nice five hour journey. Yeah, but for some reason, I have no idea why. If you want to watch the vlog of the weekend, it would already be up, but it I takes Mum. Mum done a travelling vlog. Well, how many times did you stop on the way? Tell me honestly. Two. Because honestly, it takes me two hours 40 to get home, which is how long it's meant to take you to get home. And then it takes Mum and Atticus at least five hours minimum to get here, no matter what time they leave. To tell you on this group, Mummy literally stops at the services for two hours. I know, because... I went, so one of the services I just got a McDonald's really quickly. It was so quick. Then she went to get a coffee, and we went to sit down. Mm. I was going to eat my food quite quickly if I had any I was going to take in the car. Mm. When it was nearly three quarters down in my nail, I was like, Mum, I can take in the car. She was like, Come, wait here. Honestly, I ran up when 
literally rang me and she was like, I'm an hour and a half away. So I was like, amazing. I'll get up now because I was having a really chilled morning. Just watching the um, Dharma documentary in bed. And then mum was like, yeah, we're an hour and a half away. So I got up, showered, rang her an hour and a half late and said, oh, where are you? She went, hour and ten. I said, hang on a minute. Unless my maths is really off, that doesn't make sense. And she was like, oh, Anna, you know me. It always happens as traffic. There's no traffic. She's just sitting in the middle of Oh, was that? When you've gone out any further, there's a huge bus. Oh, well, Attica is very excited to be in Manchester because at the moment he's very into like renovation building and like roadworks road and, and buildings building and stuff. And, and then, building works. And building works. He knows like all the roads that are shut in our hometown, all the renovations and roadworks that they're doing. And he knew that they were renovating Manchester Town Hall, which I'm not going to lie, I didn't even know. So we went down and looked what? at that. You didn't know. Well, no, I didn't. I don't normally walk to that part. We just went there for you. Yeah. And you loved it. And then they do like these three big developments in um, our hometown. Oh, yeah, because was telling me all about the developments. That's what his like current obsession is. They're doing, they're doing 3,600 new houses near where we live. And then um, 3,000 doing uh, the other side of town. Um, there's another one on that side of the town. I honestly have no idea. I remembers it all. I literally don't get it. I nearly ate all of them. I nearly ate all of them. Good boy. So I asked her some questions on Instagram. Uh, but I feel like we answered all the same questions, which is why I just wanted to have a general chat. But I just want to do answer some questions. Okay, but well I've got a couple. Someone wants to know what's your favourite memory of me and you? Probably when, when, when we were at Disney. I would probably say that's one of my favourite memories when we were at Disney World the first day. Or actually when I met you and Mummy at the airport in Florida. Or my birthday. Oh yeah, your birthday in Disney. That was special. That was a very special day in Hollywood Studios. But I think either I love me either meeting you at the airport because I was like, oh my god, I can't. But I was on such a high, like I'd just come from the Kardashian premiere. And how long we haven't seen excited. you since? I hadn't seen you in months, and then obviously we met at the airport. We were like, oh my god, we put two weeks of like Disney together and checking into the hotel. And I think I that was a memory. Picture. Yeah, and then the um, what do you call it? Time where this is the first day when we went into Magic Kingdom. I think that was really special. I loved that. Definitely. I know what one of the questions is going to be. Answer it. Then, if you know what it's gonna be. What is it then? What's an update on your crush? Do you like anyone? Same as last time. But you still didn't tell me the names of these people last time. I know a few of them. Do you still fancy them? There's only one. Oh, who? There's only one now. Oh, what happened to the other one? He's gone off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, who's the two, but who, mainly just one. Who's someone that you do like? What? Who's a YouTuber or someone at school? You can tell me that. YouTuber. So you're not going to tell me any more than that? Yeah. Have you spoke to him before? I'm not. No. Oh, I don't know. You're saying it very vague. I don't know. He's a man of very few words when it comes to this sort of stuff. He doesn't really tell me. I find all my info out from mummy. Because you tell mummy, then mummy tells me. Hey, hey, why are you stealing all my nuggets? Because they're nice. You're not going to eat 20. Should we see how many left? Now you're diverting the topic of conversation. Ten. I want to see you eat all ten then. That's it on that question then, is it? Well, what about you? What about me? Can you call your mum? No. Mum! Oh, no, I got four. Why did you send it to me? I didn't ask this, it's Atticus. Mum doesn't want to be in the video. Mummy's working. I did tell you that. Did so you I don't know what you, I don't know what you needed mum's backup for, but. What is your love for me? Update. Don't have an update. We're seeing people. No, I'm not. Well, no, I'm not. I'm living my best life. I'm having fun. Stop lying. Not lying. I'm actually unagradly not lying. I speak to people. I have friends.